Hi viewers, in this session we are going to define what is limit point of a sequence with the example. We will prove Bolzano, Weistra's theorem for sequences. We will also define what is a Cauchy sequence with the examples. And finally, we will prove the Cauchy general principle of convergence of a sequence. What is limit point of a sequence? A real number L is said to be a limit point of the sequence AN if for epsilon greater than 0 every neighborhood of L that is the open interval L minus epsilon and L plus epsilon contains infinitely many terms of the sequence or this neighborhood contains an infinite number of terms of the sequence a n if you look at this it is called L limit point that means for a given sequence we may have more than one limit point if a n is equals to L for an infinitely many values of n, then we say that L is a limit point of the sequence a n. A limit point of a sequence is also known as a cluster point or an accumulation point. Examples, consider the sequence a n whose n to term is minus 1 to the power n which contains the elements minus 1 comma 1 comma minus 1 comma 1 comma so on. Here a n is equals to 1 for infinitely many values of n. Yes. If we look at the sequence, the second term is 1, fourth term is 1, that is every even term is 1. The value of the sequence in even number of terms is 1. How many even numbers are there? We know that infinitely many even numbers are there. Therefore, a n is equal to 1 for every n even for every n which is even it is true for every even number therefore n equal to 1 for infinitely many values of n 1 is a limit point of a n similarly look at the odd terms first term minus 1 third term minus 1, fifth term minus 1, that is every odd term is minus 1. How many odd numbers are there? Infinitely many odd numbers are there. Therefore, a n is equal to minus 1 for infinitely many values of n and hence minus 1 is also a limit point of the sequence a n. Thus, this sequence a n has two limit points. They are 1 and minus 1. We have some results. The first result is an important result. A bounded sequence having only one limit point converges. a n is equals to L for all n belong to n then every term of the sequence must be L it is true only for the constant sequence suppose consider the constant sequence a n whose nth term is a n equals to 5 what is the first term 5 second term 5 that is a n equals to 5 for all n belong so it is true only for the constant sequences. A n is equals to L for infinitely many values of n. Then 
there are certain terms of the sequence a n which are not equals to l for example the sequence a n whose nth term is minus 1 power n if you consider that every even term is 1 what about odd terms not 1 therefore there are certain terms that is odd terms in the example which are not equals to 1 hence a n is equal to 1 for an infinitely many values of n implies there are certain terms of the sequence a n which are not equals to l a limit point of a sequence need not be a member of the sequence yes if you consider the sequence a n whose nth term is 1 by n as n tends to infinity 1 by n tends to 0 that is 0 is a limit point of the sequence does 0 belong to the sequence a n equal to 1 by n no no therefore a limit point of a sequence need not be a member of the sequence some examples the sequence a n where the nth term a n is 1 by n for all n belong to n has 0 as its only limit point just now we discussed the sequence a n whose nth term is minus 1 power n has two limit points namely 1 and minus 1 the sequence a n where a n is equals to 1 plus minus 1 power n by n for all n belong to n as 1 as its only limit point because we take limit as n tends to infinity limit of a n as n tends to infinity becomes 1 plus 1 by infinity 1 by infinity is 0 therefore we take limit we get 1 and hence 1 as its only limit point the sequence a n where a n is equal to n squared a n equal to n squared has no limit point because we take limit as n tends to infinity then what happened as n tends to infinity n squared tends to infinity infinity is not a number infinity is not a number the limit must be a number and hence it has no limit point